Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and I'm the crafter from Down Under. Well, today I'm super excited to share with you this fabulous deer themed celebration that I created for my brother's 50th party. Now he absolutely loves all things deer, all things buck. He's a big buck hunter player. So I thought I would create a beautiful deer inspired uh, 50th celebration for him. So our first DIY for today is I want to share with you how I made this faux deer antler centerpiece. It's absolutely stunning. I think it's one of my favorites so far. All you're going to need is some alfoil, some white masking tape and some paint. So to get started, you're going to roll out a sheet of alfoil, you're going to fold it in half and you're going to scrunch it gently into a tube form. You kind of want to make a bit of a circular tube shape, but you don't want to press too hard in the first instance until you're comfortable with the length and with the width of the first antler shape. Now, what you want to do, and the great thing about using alfoil as the base of the antler centerpiece, is that you can make it as long or as short as you like, as thick as you like, and you can really shape it into a number of different um, kind of styles. I made a variety of different antler pieces. Some had two points, some had three points, some had four points. It's important to make the base of the antler thicker uh, because on a real deer, obviously as it comes out of the deer's head, it is thicker at the base and then narrows into a point. So here you can see me making a flat bottom. So it looks like it's been cut from, obviously the antler's been, uh, antler's been cut. You make a nice flat base. That's going to be really important later on when you're adhering it to your centerpiece. So I made a number of different shapes. Again, play around with it. Um, you can make them, again, different uh, shapes, different sizes. You can have them popping out wherever you like on the length of the antler. And just keep working with all the different sizes until you get an antler shape that you like.
Now, when you finish making the antler shape to your liking, uh, then what you're going to do is, I covered my entire antler in white masking tape. A couple of reasons for this. A, it gives you some really nice texture when it's time to paint, but also it covers the foil and gives your uh, antler a really good base to start painting. So to paint your antlers, I used three different colours. I used brown, cream, and I used white. To give the antler a base, I used this brown acrylic that I picked up from my local $2 store. You can pick up acrylic paint in your uh, crafting store or any uh, cheap uh, $2 store. And I gave each antler a really solid dark brown coating over the top of the white masking tape. This is going to create a really good base. Now you could use um, this base of dark brown and then start creating more textured lines using the cream and the white. Uh, you can leave it as is and have a finished product. But for me, uh, when it was finished, I didn't like how you could see the different lines of the masking tape in between each one. And because it was a centerpiece on the table, um, I just thought it didn't look as finished as I wanted it to be. If you were going to use these antlers as a headpiece, it would still be okay. But as a centerpiece, I wanted to make it look a little bit more professional and realistic. So I just used some uh, multi-purpose filler. Uh, you can pick this up in your local hardware store. I had some in my garage. And I started to, I used the uh, multi-purpose filler to start to fill in and create a cover to the um, uh, white masking tape. The plaster or the filler was actually a really good, it gave the antlers a really authentic and realistic finish so that when I went to repaint the antlers they really started to come alive and look um, quite real and um, also with the um, uh, multi-purpose filler you can start to also cut out some grooves in the design of each of the antlers a lot of antlers have got um, kind of um, stripy designs or they might have little dots at the base of the antler and you can actually build this in as you're um, covering the antler with the filler I then proceeded to then recoat it uh, this time I used the cream as the base um, because once you've got the um, filler on it picks up the the dark brown base underneath so you're already getting layered texture on your antlers and it's really starting to look quite authentic and real um, but believe it or not it's so lightweight and it's actually quite soft so really really easy to manage so I went ahead and covered the entire antler with this cream paint and then I didn't get it on camera but then I went back with the dark brown and started to really create the lines and the dots that you would normally find in a deer antler. So to start putting the centerpiece together, I used one of my wooden candlestick holders and I was intending to glue each antler to the circumference of the top of the uh, candle holder, but I really didn't want to put um, hot glue on my wooden uh, candle holder. So what I did was I used a piece of cardboard and I cut out a, the circumference of the top of the candle holder and then I just used hot glue at the base of each antler and then stuck it onto the round cardboard form and then put it over the top of the candle holder and that way I can remove it so it's not permanent I'm not damaging the candle holder and it looks it because it's cardboard color and it's brown it looks really great now you can leave it there um, and you can actually use that as a centerpiece without any embellishments or decorations but I really wanted to um, bring in the whole theme of deer and nature and um, and uh, woodland so I used some of my um, beautiful uh, flowers and peonies that I had that I created actually as part of a previous um, table setting that I had creating a tablescape which was part of my boho theme the colors worked beautifully this beautiful soft uh, kind of apricot color with my soft white peonies and I used a few little small plants and little flowers just to embellish 
the top of the centerpiece and there you have it you put a candle a flameless uh, candle in the middle and you've got a gorgeous deer themed um, beautiful faux antler centerpiece it looks so good on the table my brother was absolutely delighted when he saw this so here's the finished uh, product my beautiful antler centerpiece Next, I'd like to share with you how I made this wooden antler nameplate, which looks fabulous as part of the deer themed celebration. Now you're going to need some craft paper, you're going to need some popsicle sticks or uh, wooden craft sticks, lightweight ones, and the, a cutout of some antlers or a deer shape. I used a uh, black and green uh, craft paper and cut out my shapes on that. Now I had to measure against my dinner plate, so I needed five wooden craft sticks and they weren't quite long enough, so I had to join two craft sticks together to get the length that I needed. So you can make it whatever length you like and whatever width you like. I needed five popsicle sticks. Now to bring it together, I just glued um, horizontally an extra popsicle stick across the back and that made it nice and secure and made it a, uh, a nice flat um, nameplate. Then you're going to use, uh, well first of all um, before you adhere the deer antler shape you're going to give your nameplate a nice good solid coating of paint of your choice. I just used some brown acrylic paint that I watered down and I uh, covered it back, back and front. Then I took my antler shape or my deer shape and I just used my super uh, my hot glue. Uh, you can use any glue really, um, but I just wanted that instant um, uh, stick. So I used the hot glue and I put the antler deer shape straight on to the wooden nameplate. So to finish the nameplate, I just cut out a smaller piece uh, of a wooden stick and I stuck it horizontally at the top of the nameplate so I could write my brother's name at the top. I used a biro to start with so I could dig a little bit of a groove in his name so I wanted to create that sort of heat stamped look uh, and then I used a black permanent marker and followed it up with a white marker so that it really looked uh, more rustic and it looked like it had almost had been branded. There you have it, uh, that is a my wooden nameplate that you can use to really bring your dear theme celebration to light. I hope you enjoyed it. So now this is my favourite part. This is where I bring the entire dear theme celebration together. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. If you like what you're watching, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be uh, notified every time I upload a video. I've really enjoyed putting this together. We certainly had a fabulous uh, celebration for my brother, his dear theme celebration. He really loved it. That's the main thing. And of course, I absolutely loved putting it together for him. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, episode. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great week. Bye.